We're about to find out more about the Canadian Federation of University Women. Uh, joining us right now, we have Patricia O'Flaherty, who's the Scholarship and Trust Fund Chair, and we are very honoured to have you here. Thank you, Dylan. Thanks for having me. Uh, tell us a bit more about uh, the CFUW. Now, it's, it's actually been around longer in Ottawa than it's been around the whole country. That's correct. So the Ottawa chapter formed in uh, 1910, and the national group, um, uh, Ottawa Women, were part of the founders of the national group, and it's celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. So That's amazing. <laughs> what exactly happens? at the uh, Canadian Federation of University Women? Well, the mission, uh, the mission and the reason why we exist is to promote um, things like the status of women, public education, human rights, social justice. Um, our primary focus is raising money for scholarships. Mm -hmm. So we are big supporters of uh, providing opportunities for women to uh, be able to pursue uh, education both in Canada and we have an outreach program, um, an outreach group that also provides scholarships to mm -hmm. a university in Afghanistan. Can I ask you, so, so you, how does this fundraising happen? Lots of events throughout the course of the year? Lots of events, donations. Mm -hmm. um, so we have over 400 members in Ottawa, but the same thing is happening all across the country. Like, mm -hmm. So there are many chapters across the country and, and um, every year over a million dollars across the country is given out in scholarships. Wow. Ottawa this year, we had our awards evening, our awards ceremony last week, and we uh, awarded $45,000 to students at Algonquin College, uh, Carleton University, and the University of Ottawa. 24 scholarships in total here in Ottawa? 24, I believe, yes. Can you tell us about uh, maybe one of the women that... that uh... We were delighted this year. One of our music... We always invite our music award winners to perform for us. And one of them, uh, Jessie Fleet, is from a very musical family. She delighted us with the harp. So it was a family affair for mm. her to, to have her harp delivered to our venue. Her father is... Um, a composer and the family is actually very musical. Her sister won our, one of our scholarships three years ago and her brother plays the cello. Mm. So they perform at, um, certainly perform at Ottawa gigs and whatnot quite a bit. Yeah. But it was delightful. We've never had a harpist before. Wow, that, that sounds beautiful. So, <laughs> so what, what is a prerequisite or a requirement to win a scholarship? So the scholarships are actually dispersed by the uh, schools. Uh, we're not at all involved in the selection. Okay. But we set out criteria, m much of it based on uh, the person who, whose name is on the scholarship, uh, who we're honouring with the scholarship. So the music scholarships that we have, um, there was quite a connection with the with the um, uh, the person who the scholarship is named for, okay. uh, for music, economics. Uh, we have a STEM um, uh, award. We have an award at Carleton for a student with a disability. Mm -hmm. So the awards themselves at, in Ottawa, we're lucky enough, we have a big enough club mm -hmm. that we have um, so many scholarships that they're very diverse in nature. A lot of intelligent women winning scholarships. Uh Oh, yeah. absolutely. So <laughs> accomplished. Yeah, I yes. can feel the pride coming out of you oh, right now. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. And uh, I know you're going to be humble here, but you were actually awarded as well. The, the, the group was awarded a, a leadership uh, We award. were. We were honoured this year by Carleton University. Look at that. And won their annual... Um, philanthropy award, a philanthropist of the year award, or that's something. Is it the something. first time? It's it's the first time that we've won it, but I think they give it out every year. Mm -hmm. But usually, it goes to an individual who has been very generous with um, donating. This is the first time that it's actually been given to a group of volunteers. Like everything we do is just through our volunteers, mm -hmm. and I think they recognize that that. Um, We've given, you know, uh, over, you know, $350,000 to mm -hmm. Carleton over the past 11 years or so. That's something. So I think they just wanted to recognize that there's a lot of power within volunteer groups. About 30 seconds left here. I, just, I want to know if people are watching, how can they become a member? Oh, easily. Yeah. If, if, um, so we do have a website. If you just do an internet search on CFUW Ottawa, the website will come up. And um, it's always a good time to join. And we have lots and lots of activities. We have over 40 interest groups that uh, members join, everything from book clubs to cuisine groups. That's great. Lots. Et cetera. Lots. Well, Patricia, thank you very much for being My here pleasure. today. My pleasure. Thank you. Great organization. Have a good day. Thank you.